The gentleman from Virginia is recognized for one minute. Madam Chair, I, I thank you, and I thank the gentleman from Virginia. Uh, Madam Chair, I rise today in support of the ALERT Act and in defense of working middle class families who face the danger that overzealous Washington regulators will destroy their jobs and impose new red tape that cuts their wages. An America that works allows small businesses to flourish, jobs to be created, and for folks to have more take-home pay in their pockets. But America doesn't work when Washington regulators impose more red tape on businesses, large and small, regardless of the cost. This bill fixes that. And Madam Chair, I hear a lot on this floor about uh, the warnings of days gone by and the fear-mongering attached to trying to at least instill some accountability on this bureaucracy in Washington. I don't think any of us on either side of the aisle wants to defend overzealous bureaucrats in imposing unnecessary burdens that have clogged this economy. Now, America doesn't work when special interest groups use the courts to impose backroom regulations that destroy jobs and reduce take-home pay. This bill before us fixes that. Now, make no mistake, excessive red tape hurts working middle-class families. For example, it was recently reported that a proposed OSHA regulation would impose costs on a portion of the growing domestic energy sector equal to $1,120 per affected employee. These employees should not have to worry that the proposed regulations could mean smaller paychecks. Or take, for example, another emerging practice of Washington regulators that hides the real impact that excessive regulation has on jobs. Under the pretense of minimal regulatory impact, this administration argues that the jobs lost, for, for instance, in mining, manufacturing, or construction will be offset by new jobs in regulatory compliance. Therefore, a majority of their regulations look a lot better and not as harmful. This is wrong. This is not being straight with the public. We must deliver transparency and accountability on the part of this administration and its bureaucracy. I doubt it is any solace to the plant worker who loses his or her job because of regulations that a new job in another sector will be created to comply with these regulations. Today, we'll consider an amendment by our colleague, the gentleman from Pennsylvania, Keith Rothfuss, to fix these problems. This amendment will help protect middle class jobs and wages. It ex is exactly the kind of reform that will make America work again. Americans should not have to settle for the new normal of slow economic and job growth that the Obama administration seems to have embraced. We in this House reject this new normal, and we will continue to fight to create an America that works again. I want to thank the gentleman from Virginia, Chairman Goodlatte, uh, Representative Holding, Collins, and Backus, who have worked hard on this bill before us, and I urge my colleagues in the House to support working middle class families by supporting this bill, and I yield back.